Hello folks. Well, you know if you've been following my rocket-powered EF-2000, my tornado swing-wing videos, you may know that one of the viewers asked if the rocket could be fired while airborne at will. Well, I decided to try that using another old EF-2000. This time I decided to use a D12-0 Estes rocket motor. That way I figured it's not going to eject and it's going to maintain the balance of the plane. Hopefully. And if you watched, I had some failures too, and we've definitely learned some things. Well, making a fire in the air without a fuse definitely complicated things, as I had to figure out how and where to put a remote rocket launch switch to ignite the rocket motor. I also thought I would try to use the onboard 11.1 volt ducted fan battery to fire the rocket motor. That way, uh, I didn't have to put in a separate battery for that. Well, this required making a special harness and very carefully uh, not to short anything out while I was doing it. I also had to make a separate radio to run the firing servo as I had no channels left in the jet's radio. Well, that also required using a separate battery pack to run the firing receiver since the other receiver is clear in the back and the tail. I use button cells. Well, then getting it balanced to fly with an onboard FPV camera also on board, it was just a guess. Jeff was my cameraman and also was in charge of launch control and flipped the switch. So here's what it looked like and what happened. Yeah, the white dot is fire, so we'll Putting rockets on a plane is not new to me. I did this back in 1980 with Bill Evans' Nitro Scimitar. And I remember telling Bud, the rocket man, when we launched it, it really threw it. And you know what? It really threw it today, too. It's exhilarating and fun.
Okay, it says it's in safe mode. I'm going to twist. Okay, we're now armed. Jeff is the trigger man. Here we go. Okay, let's do it again. Ha <laughs> ha 